Hey everybody, welcome to another really incredible, super delicious episode of the Badass Rebel Vegan Cook-Off Show. This is super exciting because today I have author Anthony Bucci with me and he is making the super ooey gooey delicious vegan pizza. Look at this food. I am so excited to dive right in. Anthony, tell me what you know, how does this go for you? Like how far back does this go making pizza and creating such delicious recipes? How you doing everybody? How you doing, Jane? This goes way back. I used to own two pizza places, a place called Godson's and one called Paisan's. That's excellent. So we're going back to the early, I was gonna say the late, two th late 19, what, what the amount, like 19, 95 and then the second one was about 2000. Yeah. I love that. I love that you're you've been making pizza for such a long time and you have um such a love for cooking and you know I just want to really get right into it to dive into it. Um show us some of what you're going to be using to make this pizza because you know I think once people see that food, you know, they're going to want to dive in and they're going to want to make a recipe just like yours. So what are you going to be using today? Okay. I'm going to be using, first of all, vegan pizza dough. Can we see all right? Yep, we got it. Jane, can you see it okay? Yes, I okay. can see it. I'm a little stuck here. You know why? I don't know how to turn... I I don't know how to turn the camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's it's okay. It's all the green as the grass. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Fresh made tomato sauce. We got vegan Parmesan cheese. I got regatta, vegan regatta, no animals, no butter fat, no cholesterol, no gluten. It's all vegan. No <laughs> I got fresh parsley. I got fresh basil. Just waiting. Just egg to add to my uh, vegan regatta. Salt and pepper. It's easy peasy. Simple. I love that. So you're using just egg mixed with your yep. ricotta cheese. And this is how, so this is, I think, something that a lot of people haven't done before. They haven't seen it done. So I wanna jump right in and have you show us how you make your famous ooey gooey delicious vegan pizza. And you know what? People would never know this was vegan. If they tasted it, they would never know, which is great. Cause if you can show people, right, how to make something taste so delicious, and then they're surprised by the fact that it's vegan, they're like, hey, wait a minute. I could totally eat like this all the time. It's delicious. It's easy, quick. It's something I enjoy because I'm, you know, like I said, I'm a full blooded Italian. So this is the closest I'm going to get. Easy, quick, and delicious. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I call it the convicted pizza dolce italiano. I love that. <laughs> I love it. Convicted pizza for short, right? <laughs> convicted pizza for short. See, usually pizza dolce is regatta pie. It's like, it's sweet. This is a, this is a pizza. So I call it, like I said, the convicted pizza dolce italiano. I love it. Let's dive right in. Thank Show you. us how you put this together. So you're starting with your vegan dough. Is that correct? Exactly. I got my camera person here. I hire her for pizza. She works cheap. <laughs> or she or will thing. work for pizza. I love that. Oh, that's a great angle right there because we yeah. can see everything. On this? Yep, that's perfect. So Okay. Perfect. Just that that's perfect. Yep. Okay. Here's the dough. See, I love that. See, a little experience. So what's in that pizza dough, Anthony? The dough in the pan. So you I make your own dough, is that right? You know dough is. So we got like flour. Not this, not water. tonight. But this is vegan. Nice. I love that. And it's yep, so yeast. easy to make it. You don't, yeah, you don't need a whole lot. That's the thing. People think it's super, super complicated. It's not. It's so easy. So you've got your dough, you got yeah. it in your pan. Yeah. Okay. Now I take the regatta, the vegan regatta. I use a half, half of a, let me see how many ounces, eight ounces of vegan regatta. Put it in a pan or 
bowl. Shake the just egg. Now this is really interesting to me. So you're using just egg with that vegan ricotta cheese and you're gonna mix some of that in there. What does it do to yeah. the flavor and texture of that cheese? Well, you've had lasagna, correct? Oh yeah, I just made some for Thanksgiving. Okay, well, for people that don't, you know, who are still not vegan, it's this is gonna be the closest thing. So for us vegans, we I make this the closest thing to like ricotta cheese taste like in the lasagna. So I put two spoonfuls of just egg. I put I put some fresh parsley I just cut up. Fresh parsley and fresh is always better. Fresh is always better. You know, I mean, you can use um, parsley flakes, but fresh is always better. Yes. So then I take my Parmesan I use barrets. It's unbelievable. It's delicious. I put a couple And again, of folks, it's in. all vegan for oh, our audience. Oh. All of this is vegan. So we're talking about cheese. We're talking about um, just egg. We're talking about dough. All of this is vegan, 100% vegan. No animals harmed. Okay, what do we do next? No animals. No animals harmed. I love that. And a little pepper. Little salt, little pepper. Little salt and sea, sea salt, a little pepper. It doesn't have no, to be complicated I to be delicious, right, up. Anthony? Yeah. No, it's so easy. That looks so good already. Mix I mean, I could up. eat, I could eat spoonfuls of that just, just as is. <laughs> yeah. You're making me hungry. This is what you'd use that. in lasagna. Yeah, most definitely. Okay. That looks so, so good. So I let this sit. I've got my, I've got my dough here. Can you hold up that dough? No, let's do that. Roll. Oh, I love that. Ready to rock and roll. And um, in your oven, you usually will set it like preheated at what temperature for this? I put it at 450. Excellent. And, you know, because for people who are going to make their own pizza, you want to preheat your oven while you're making your pizza. So it's ready to go. So you can just pop the pizza in there once you're good. And that sauce, so that's homemade uh, pizza sauce, right? Homemade pizza sauce, fresh oregano. I put... um. A time, so a little bit of this, um, where is it? The the, the Parmesan cheese. I put a, a fresh garlic. I didn't put onion in this because my mom doesn't like onion, but you, you can put whatever flavorings you like, whatever seasonings. Oh, I Delicious. love that. Then we put, I like a lot of gravy, a lot of sauce. Because... <laughs> Oh, look at that. Can you see okay? Oh, wow. Yeah, that looks amazing. And I, I can almost smell the fresh tomatoes in there. It just, there's such a, an aroma, you know, when you're using tomatoes and you're putting spices in there and you're adding it to this fresh pizza dough. There's, I mean, you know, everybody I think knows that, that, that smell, that delicious smell of pizza in the works. That pizza that you're, you know, making, it's just, Oh, that already looks so good. Oh my gosh. Oh, that, that's fantastic. Look at this, everybody. So the vegan pizza in the making. And Anthony, I love that you're using a, a pan like that because, you know, when I was younger growing up, my mom would make homemade pizza and she would use that kind of a pan. So this just brings me back to childhood because we would have pizza maybe like once a week on a Friday. Um, and I would always look forward to it because it was one of my favorite meals growing up, but we didn't have it you know, all the time it was for, you know, just those special days. So this reminds me so much of my childhood and, you know, some of those good memories of mom's home cooking and, you know, eating something that just tastes like warmth, it tastes like comfort and it tastes like home. So you've got your dough, you've got your homemade tomato sauce, um, and then you're putting this mix and remind everybody what's in that mix. Yeah. Okay, we, this is the regatta, vegan regatta. It's got just eggs, salt, sea salt, pepper, Parmesan cheese, and fresh parsley. I love that. This so is what we simple. put in like a lasagna. Yeah, and it's so simple. Anybody can do this. It doesn't have to be difficult. Um, it doesn't need to be complicated. Um, you just need to get in there and do it. So you're placing about a spoonful in each place? 
Yes, in each little I'm, spot in there. Exactly. But you can do it as to how you desire. But once it gets in there, it melts nice, it spreads out. And it's not supposed to be covering the whole thing because this is like a delicacy. Right. So just spread it out nice. Okay. That's the that looks so good. Now I take look the fresh this. parsley. Oh my I mean, excuse me, the fresh basil. Wow, look at that. And I take the the cutting scissors, the kitchen scissors. And I put it on nice. And I love on using cameraman. those scissors because people tend to rip their their herbs and it bruises them. So it's so nice to have you know a scissor so you can cut it and you're not bruising those leaves um, while you're putting them on top of your pizza. That looks so good. I think people make that mistake a lot. They will they will tear apart their their herbs and then they get all. Um, mushy and they're bruised and uh, this is this is perfect it keeps them intact and this is just amazing looking I can almost smell it I mean this is oh, just delicious. incredible yeah okay. I love that okay. that looks so delicious oh my <laughs> god <laughs> and there's your pizza nice wow quick. 10 minutes maybe that is so great. So then you pop it in the oven, and how long do you let that bake, Anthony? Excuse me? How long I'll do you let it bake? 450 for like 20, 20 minutes. Okay, about 20 minutes, 22 minutes. I love that. And of course, it'll vary by your oven. So minutes. people, you know, you have to kind of like maybe check it after 20 minutes. If it needs another couple, that's fine. But keep in mind, when you take it out on a hot pan, it does keep cooking for a little bit. Um, so, you know, definitely make sure you're. Um, you're keeping that in mind. And I know I want to come over there and have a piece of this pizza. So um, through TV magic, you have one ready. So <laughs> let's see what that looks like. The one that's, all, oh my gosh, look at this. It's all melty and cheesy and delicious. Totally vegan, no animals harmed. And we're looking at something here that is even better for you. So, you know, going vegan is about the animals, but listen, it's also healthier for you because all you're missing here is that the cruelty, the cholesterol, the saturated fat, this is something that is so, so great. I mean, when you want to splurge, you want to have pizza, and this isn't even really a splurge. You could eat something like this and stay on track with somebody's fitness goals. This looks fantastic, Anthony. Now, the question is, are you going to have some? Well, I've been fasting, intermittent fasting and juicing for two days. So I'm going to pass, but my mom's going to have some and I'll give some away. <laughs> and you're going to give some away. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I was there, I would love to have a piece of that pizza because it looks so, so good. It just looks fantastic. I can almost smell it through the camera. So this is really great. So now... Uh, I want to, you know, ask you just a little bit because we've got this convicted pizza. You are the convicted vegan. Now tell our audience what that really means. The convicted vegan? Yes. Or the convicted pizza dolce italiano. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got no. that. <laughs> the convict, I'm convicted to being vegan. I'm convicted to changing my life. I'm convicted to being a better person. I'm convicted. Anything I do, I do convicted. And so should anybody that does anything do it right. Yeah, I, so I, I, I thought agree. the convicted being, it, has, it really has nothing to do with where I was in the handcuffs and all that, even though it's, it's like a cute, you know, little logo. It really, it's about me as a person, as a man and how I've evolved and changed. Yeah. And I love that. And a part of your story is the fact that you spent um, quite a few years in prison um, you wrote a book while you were there. You completely changed your life around. Um, and you just have such an incredible story of redemption and transformation. So tell our audience just a little bit about that because, you know, it's really great to see someone like you who, you know, used an opportunity um, that, you know, could have very well sent you down a different path, but you used it to change your life for the better. You completely changed your life around. So tell our audience a little bit about that. Well, I got in trouble twice, guys. And uh, first time was 41 months. Second time, I got I received 20 years sentence. 
in prison, I hit rock bottom. It was either don't come out alive or change. And I chose, you know, to come out alive and be a different guy. So in prison, I changed my frequency, my life standards, my, the way I treated people. And, uh, I tried my hardest and I'm still trying every day to become a better person. It's not easy. Nothing's easy, but it, that's worth it. So I, like I said, I've been trying in prison. I got, I don't want to go through the whole story, but I got in a little trouble. And I said, when I was in salt and confinement, I said, either I'm going to change or I'm not going to make it out of here alive. And I chose, like I said, I chose the second when I came out, I volunteered and took care of sick and terminally ill inmates. I educated myself, 50 educational classes, college classes and courses, you know, the prison offered, one of them being a paralegal. I filed my own motion. I'm the first one in the United States to win a uh, parental compassionate release to come home and take care of my hero. Hi, mom. He said hi. I know he is. Hi, everybody. And she is bon appetit. Bon appetit. <laughs> she's, the best. She is. she's the best when she's sleeping. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> no, and it's so great, Anthony, because I love yeah. that you um, really set the, the trend here for people to be able to request a, and file for a compassionate release um, because you were able to then take go home and take care of your mom. And this is really wonderful because without you, you know, she wouldn't have anybody there to take care of her. So um, because she does have some medical issues. And so you are there to to take care of her. Now, um, not only that, you, you know, totally change your life around and how you view people and how you treat people. And you are so compassionate now. And you made that connection to the animals, which is also incredible because not everybody um, does that. Sometimes people use a difficult past um, as an excuse almost to treat other people or other, you know, earthlings, other animals poorly. You didn't do that. You completely changed your life around and you said, hey, I have this chance to lead by example. I have this chance to actually be a more compassionate person and start again now with this wisdom and experience I have from my past, but not let my past define me. And I love that this is a part of your story. So tell us just a little bit about your book because, you know, we're coming up to the, the holiday times here. And I think this would make a really great gift if people are looking for something to get for their loved ones. Um, I know a lot of people have enough things. They have enough stuff. Um, a book is always a great gift for any holiday. So tell us a little bit about your book and then how people can, can buy a copy. My book is called Infinity Crew. It's about kids that grow up on the streets of Boston. They meet in a reform school slash juvenile detention center. They become friends. They become chosen family. It's about what I think friendship should be about. There is loyalty among thieves. Even if, and then like myself, I was always loyal. And then I changed my life and I'm even more loyal as a civilian, as a normal person. So I wanted to touch upon Matt because, you know, both times I went to prison, I was betrayed by very dear friends. And I don't have any animosity towards them now because I've changed. You know, and like I said, compassion is my strength and I don't wish anything bad upon anybody, you know, but it's not on me to judge. All I can do is be the best person I can be. So mm -hmm. as far as the book, it's an unbelievable read. I've had two meetings with big production companies. I'm in the process of making it into a screenplay. I'm trying to land a movie deal and a series deal and then a sequel to the movie. So I love that. You just are keep moving horizon. forward. They are. You just keep moving forward. And I yeah. love that because this is a part of your story, too, is that it's never too late to make your dreams come true. Because if you can dream it, you can do it. But you have to show up and do the work. And you are doing that. You show up and you do the work. A lot of times people will quit when it doesn't come fast or it doesn't come easy. And I think that's a really big mistake because you know if it's worth it, you are going to put the work into it and keep showing up. And your story proves that because you know it's easy for people to say, "Well, gosh, you know my dreams didn't come true in my 20s or my 30s." You know, so they think that they've aged out, that they can't make anything happen, and that isn't true. It is never too late to make your dreams come true, but you have to show up. You have to do the work. You have to keep moving forward. I what are you love trying that. To say? 
What what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? You call me old? No, I'm you're not you're not 30, Anthony. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm no spring chick. I've been told that by some very close friends. <laughs> right, Nat? <laughs> I love that. I love that that phrase. Well, I'll be 40 in a few weeks. So, you know, I'm no spring chicken either. But I just think, you know, people you need to really hear that message because a lot of times there's this idea that you have to do something by a certain age or else it's never going to happen. And then people give up. You know, they stop showing up. They stop doing the work. The fact is you've never aged out. And this is a message for everybody in this audience. You are never too old to make a change. You are never too old to start your life again. You are never too old to make your dreams happen. So it takes a lot of hard work and dedication, perseverance. Yes, 100% it does. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy. What I'm telling you is that it is possible so long as you show up and do the work. And Anthony, I think that is one of the greatest parts about your stories that you are proving that. So where can we find a copy of your book and then actually have a really good gift idea to make it like a gift package? So when, um, where can people find your book? Do they go on Amazon or where, where would they find it? It's on, available on Amazon.com, Barnes and Nobles and 70 other online high-end bookstores. And as far as putting the work in, just think about this. In a year, I've been out for 13 months. I turned a screenplay into a book, a masterpiece, which I sent out to be edited and then edited five times on my own when I got it back. I opened a clothing line. I did one rehab job because I'm in the construction business. I was in the construction business before I went away. And I took a life coaching class. I'm now a certified life coach, Jane. So all this in a year, plus taking care of my beautiful mother, mending relationships, starting relationships and, you know, and, and, you know, with my children and, you know, all in one year. That. So I love that. if you, if you have the dedication and, the, and you put the work in, like you said, we're all capable of anything that's yeah. in the realm of possibilities, of course. Like I, I said in the last show, I could never be a, a pro basketball player, but I can write books. I can you write can write good. books. And I Absolutely. guarantee anybody that buys my book, Anybody that buys my book will love it. And if you don't love it, DM me and I'll give you your money back. How's that? That's how sure Don't I DM them and ask for your money back because that's <laughs> you You need to read the book and appreciate the book and Never appreciate the artist who wrote the book. <laughs> um, now, Anthony, now I have a really great gift idea. So you have a clothing line as well. Mm -hmm. And I love uh, everything you have on there. You're actually wearing one of your, your hoodies right now. So what I would love for people to do is to buy your book off of Amazon, buy a, um, a copy of that, and then go to your clothing line. And it's um, the, the convictedvegan.com, correct? Yes. And um, purchase like a, a hooded sweatshirt or a t-shirt or something like that and package that up and give that as a gift to somebody because they will absolutely love it. They're going to cozy up in that hooded sweatshirt. They're going to read that book. And, you know, it's so nice when somebody can sit down and actually relax and read a book and appreciate it. I think this is something that you know, anybody can do at any time for any holiday or just, you know, for a, a birthday or any type of occasion or maybe even a just because I was thinking about your kind of gift. This is perfect. And you're supporting a small business owner. You're supporting somebody um, who, you know, is doing the work, you know, showing up day in and day out, following their dreams and making things happen. So I really want to encourage people um, to support you and support your business and support what you are doing. Um, and then tell everybody where they can find you on social media. Okay. I'm on Instagram, The Convicted Vegan. I have a Facebook page also called The Convicted Vegan. I have a Facebook page, Anthony Bucci. And I have a website, theconvictedvegan.com. That's where my store is with the clothes. If you hit me up directly on, on, on the DM, direct message, and you know, if you have a problem with money, whatever, I'm willing to work with people. I'm here to help. I'm here to like, you know, do the right thing because it's time to. It's time. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, Anthony, I like to say, we don't need like one person doing everything perfect. What we need are millions of people doing the best they can. And I think, you know, this just exactly. is such proof positive that, you know, you're taking every opportunity, you're learning from it. I know, like I said, this has not come easy. This doesn't come quick. 
um, but it is so worth the effort. You know, every time you think you're too tired to possibly keep moving forward, learn to rest, not quit. Keep moving forward. Look at this pizza. Oh my gosh, I definitely want <laughs> to see <laughs> that. Look at this. It looks fantastic. It is ooey gooey. It is cheesy. It's delicious. It's yummy. And it's all vegan. So thank you, Anthony, so much for joining me today for this very special episode of the Badass Rebel Vegan Cook-Off. It has been such an honor to have you here. And I just so appreciate you, you know, showing up yet again for my show and for your friendship. I appreciate you more than you know. And I appreciate your mom being there to support you because that is such a special bond you have with Say her. Goodbye. So uh, <laughs> thanks for being here, mom. We'll see you soon. And thank you to our audience for joining in today. So you're able to see this delicious vegan pizza made by Anthony Gucci, the convicted vegan. Don't forget to check him out on Instagram and Facebook at the convicted vegan. I'm Jane Elizabeth. It was great to see everybody today. We'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Have a great rest Stay of the day. Stay convicted. Stay convicted. <laughs>